Welcome to another photobombed <laughs> episode of Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Sneaker Show and Tell. I just finished my boot show, show and tell. So I figured, you know, I have a lot of sneakers. Yeah, I'll do that. Just have sort of something to do. <laughs> but mommy, I don't wear shoes. Yes, you have. Are we getting like give us a moment. A butt shot here. So let's just moon the people that are gracious enough to actually sit through my ramblings. So, here it is, Sneaker Show and Tell, with special guest star, Kefren Michael. Kefren Michael. <laughs> Kefren is displaying my Osiris sneakers. Now, these, if you buy them in stores, and I think... The only place I've seen them as far as store stores are in Journeys. <laughs> Thank you. And I actually got these for free. So I got $80 shoes for nothing. Can't you know argue that. And they're you know black and pink. And the, when I was kind of researching them, because it looked like an expensive shoe, and I hadn't really thought of them anything before. And, and the way they sounded like each shoe is like unique they're like no two the same I have no idea but I liked it because they said Osiris or Osiris depending how you want to say it and he is the god of the underworld in the Egyptian ancient mythology so that's like <laughs> they would have been mine <laughs> you know, just on that that account and, and they were brand new I mean brand new as to have the laces the way they were tucked in like they had never been worn before which like okay so these are my go-to sneakers when I just want to throw something on you know you just slip them on slip them off and they have like a shiny kind of iridescent look to them so and, and then to have a shoot pair of shoes that I like the colors and all that stuff and for nothing so that was awesome so, they definitely don't go unappreciated. These are worn quite often, and they have the Osiris logo in the back. Uh, I think these had, like, different names. I don't know. These are mid-girls, size 7, I don't know. But I looked on the website because it had the website on the tag. <laughs> like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And they were, like, on sale for $75. I'm like, as awesome as these are, I ain't gonna pay no 75 bucks for them. So, plus I wouldn't, I, this is kind of silly here because I wouldn't want to lace across the word here. And I've yet to see anybody who wears these sneakers do that. But then, you know, I just, I, just, I mean, I just thought they were cool. <laughs> so these are my freebies. These are just sort of left over from like a, the church thing. So that was them. There you go. Now, normally I'm not actually a sneaker person. You know, as far as, you know, wearing them a lot, but for, for this, I don't know if I'm fading in and out here, but this year I seem to be wearing them a lot more. But then we go walking, too, and I don't, and that will be coming up later in the vid, the one pair of shoes that I have that are perfect for walking, but they're hideous beyond belief. So these are just sort of, I usually kind of wear sneakers when I just want to throw something on, and I'm just too lazy for the boots, I don't know. But these I found at Yon Goodwill and these are just so freaking me and these might have come from someplace like Journeys too I don't know what the brand is but they're a leather a leather sneaker which seems kind of strange to me but I'm not too keen on like the white uh, this thing here it should be black which reminds me of what I do with my black things that I took out of those. I don't know. <laughs> but these are good to like slip on and off. And they have a little skull and crossbones, which of course, you know, attract me instantly. And they're black and purple and silver. So, definitely within my color scheme. And the soul's purple. They are from NSS. And these are a size 6. So these are a neat little shoe. These are really, really hefty for a sneaker. <laughs> you pick them up and you're like, ugh! 
and these are from a company called Vans. They're confusing. I think they're leather on them. Vans off the wall. I have no idea what the hell that means or what company. I don't have no idea. But I just have no idea why I found them attractive. I think it was the red and the black theme, which is totally awesome. And they were actually a little bigger. They might have been a man's shoe. I'm not sure. I don't know. No, I don't know. If they're a six, and I'm fitting in a six. And I don't know. They're just a neat shoe. But these are not comfortable. If you're doing a lot of walking or anything like that, not the best. It's just not a good design. I think it's because this is a lot heavy and the support is a little weird. The shoe just doesn't match the sole, and they're just not... They're just one of the less more... One of the most less... No, that don't make sense either. These just ain't comfortable. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> but they look good. We suffer for our beauty, I know. Well, just poo-foo in the background. But it's really kind of neat with the little plaid detailing here. So, these are the ones that aren't worn too, too often. If I'm not doing a lot of walking, I might throw these on. Turn it on. Now, these are one of my most recent finds and these were at the Topic and they were the only pair there in my size for seven dollars these were sixty dollar shoes originally so I'm like oh hell yeah and these are really kind of interesting because they're I'm not quite sure how you would want to explain it the, the heel doesn't go the width of the sneaker so they're kind of like a shoe and a sneaker at the same time so they're very interesting to walk in and they have like the tread that goes up the back. These are leather. And I just like the like snake thing to them. And I don't have anything blue. It was very, very interesting, the, the color. And they actually gave you ex a package of extra little shiny things here. <laughs> Which kind of surprised me. It was, it was just kind of funny. And these are from Volatile. And they're just a really cute sneaker. But they are kind of strange to walk in because you are in a heel, so they're like a wedge sneaker. So I wouldn't, you know, do any sports or anything in them. But they're just really cute. And so happy the cave gets everywhere. Uh, and you have the little little part up the toe here. Relatively decent tread, but they're more of a... I don't know, a show sneaker, not a more practical one. But they are cute, kind of comfortable, but they are kind of interesting to walk in because your brain's like oh I'm wearing sneakers but boy would these feel weird <laughs> so they're a really neat shoe I like those got the new sneaker smell Now, I'm kind of going to classify these under sneaker, even though they're more of a man's dress shoe type of thing, but they look sneaker-ish. And yes, they are a man's shoe. I actually have a pair of boys' dress shoes because they're just neat to look at. I mean, and I can fit in them, too. If I can fit into them, I don't care what the hell gender they're from. If I like them, big whoop to do And again, these, these were from Yon Goodwill. And I had never heard of these shoes before, either. And these are like a $70 shoe if you buy them online. That's how I found out they were men's shoes. And these are Nike Air by some golfer guy. Cole, I don't know if you can see that. Cole Han, Han or Ham or something like that. And again, these are leather. Yeah, Cole Han. I don't know, some sports dude. I think he's golf. I don't know. But they're comfortable and they're kind of neat. You know, one of the quickie shoes that, you know, if you just have to throw a pair of shoes on, you grab one of these. But I thought they were kind of neat. I did kind of like the masculine kind of feel about them, especially when they're man shoe. But they're kind of neat. Again, they're not not known for their comfort, but I don't know. A very interesting shoe. Now these I got a couple years ago when I first started going to the wheel, and. I can't remember if these were 3-2 or not. I think so. And these I like going walking in because these feel like you're walking on sponges. <laughs> and these are my lifts. 
which is kind of why I bought those blue sneakers. They reminded me of these. And again, these are leather as well. But this is like a spongy material, so they're really fun to walk in. Except, you know, you have like no sensation underneath your feet, so you're like, if you're on flat terrain, you're okay. You know, if you go mountain climbing, you know, I can't guarantee your safety. But, <laughs> but I like the flame detail, which is kind of neat, and they're red and black, which are my two favorite colors. And again, they're easy to get into. But I had, but the way they are inside, they're a little hard. So I added the little um, doofleky in here. And these are from Volatile. So these might have, actually, I think that's what those blue ones were, Volatile. I don't remember now. Let's find out. They are. Good golly gee whiz. No wonder they reminded me of these shoes. So these might have come from the topic at one time. But these are really, really comfortable and really just fun to walk in. And again, you get that like spongy kind of feeling. But they are kind of hard in the heel, so I got the little inserts. I think you transferred them from one shoe to another. So I really like these. And they have your, you know, the similar pattern there like the blue ones did. But they're sort of a beefier version of those. Yeah, I just now made that connection. Really cool. Go volatile. Now, I blame Leah Mouse for these. <laughs> it's all your fault. Now, unfortunately, the laces are coming up a lot more blue, and they're like a, a violet purple, so they don't look nearly as cool as they do in real life. There's nothing you want in that basket, Jeffrey Michael. Be good. Now, these are, when I saw these there, and I'm like, of course I thought Leah Mouse, and I'm like, but when I saw her videos, I liked her Converse sneakers anyway, and these are Converse All-Stars. And they are missing a grommet, and I did get and get some to put on. I just haven't gotten around to it. And that was like the only defect to the shoe. Again, these are three dollars, and they were black, and they fit. <laughs> but I don't know. As much as I love black, it just needed a pop of color. So I found these at like the dollar store in our mall. But they're like a dollar twenty-nine, but they're too short. Now here's my thought. I'm looking for, I was looking for, you know, shoelaces, but they go by how many of these you have on your shoe. Yeah, that doesn't mean that everybody can tie them all in the same way. Some people have skinny lays and have plenty of room. Some of us don't. And you have to go down a little farther. It just pisses me off. <laughs> so, these are really, really cool. And these are, these are just fun to wear, but... Leah Mouse had a video where she did her involuntary exercise and was pretty much dying at the end of the walk. These are by far some of the most uncomfortable sneakers to wear if you're doing a lot of walking, especially if you're on pavement or flat, you know, a hard surface, because there is absolutely no support in these whatsoever. So, advice to Leah Mouse, wear walking sneakers next time. <laughs> these just don't cut it because there's no support in like your arch, especially. So I found, you know, after a while your feet do hurt because it's basically like walking in a slipper. That similar sole to the bottom. They're really cool, good if you're just doing like casual stuff. If you're doing any heavy duty walking, Catherine Michael. He's like, mommy's busy, she won't notice. Jumps on the table. I don't care what I'd let you get away with. Stop being a bad boy. I kick you in the butt with the converse. So yeah, doing heavy walking, go for a walking shoe. These just won't cut it. But these are awesome. Also, <laughs> and we both kind of wondered this. This is the outside of the sneaker. This is the inside of the sneaker. Why is this on the inside of the sneaker and not on the outside where it would actually be seen by all those who would like and be jealous of Converse? Is there a reason? My spare grandmother suggested that your ankles would most likely touch each other on the inside of the foot, and it's kind of a protective thing. But if you're walking that close together, wouldn't you be falling down a lot? I mean, so if anybody knows the mystery of why the Converse logo was on the inside of the foot, comment below, because I'm sure a lot of people would like to know. I know I'm curious. And it says All Star on the back. Now, these are my walking shoes. These are by far the best shoes to go you know, exercise walking in. And these are Skechers. 
and I'm hoping beyond hope at some point somebody will donate a black pair of these <laughs> to the Goodwill. And these are a leather shoe. I don't know if they're always leather, I have no idea. But these had pink, this shade of pink um, shoelace on them, and they're ugly as it is, okay? These are not a shoe that I would wear that I would love to wear. These are a practical shoe only. So I took these off a pair of um, high tops that look like the Converse that... I have two pair that are just were uncomfortable in weird ways. They were like hit the wrong side of the foot and I don't know, those retired into the uh, closet so these won't be in the show and tell here. So I took these off and they're a little shoelace I got with a skull and crossbones on it so I can at least look at these now. <laughs> and it's like, of all the things, you know, white and pink, ew. But these are Skechers Sports and this is by far the only company that has made a walking shoe that is good for my style of walking. I mean, and go Skechers Premium. So these are an awesome brand. They're way out of my price range if you're just going to go buy them. So <laughs> that's why I ended up with an ugly pair of sneakers. But they are the best exercise walking shoe I have yet to come across. These are I'm very, very impressed. I mean, I, I personally think they are worth the money that you would pay regular price with because they are a good quality sneaker, good tread, good support, comfortable to wear, except they're really ugly. <laughs> so yeah, these these are my practical walking, walking shoe. So it's nice when you're wearing a black outfit and you've got these hideously white sneakers on, but you know, that's me. So in my hunt for a black pair of Skechers, I found these. Now these are a very attractive sneaker. Thing with these are, these are the shape ups. And I'm like, you know, yeah, they're really cool. And I'm gonna try them. And I have like a ghetto version of the shape ups that I got from Kmart. They're, and they look like the shoe that your grandpa would wear at the uh, senior center. I mean, seriously, they're not an attractive shoe. And they're not, I mean, I don't think they're made to be comfortable. I mean, you really feel it in parts of your body that you probably shouldn't be feeling them in. So again, I retired those. I'm like, you know, I'll try these out. And I've been walking in these, and they are, again, a good, comfortable, sturdy sneaker. And they're man-made materials with leather. And these are Skechers Shape Ups. But, again, these shoes don't do anything for you. If you're looking to, like, exercise just by walking, these shoes ain't going to do delay squat for you. But, the way I walk, they give you more support. If you have, like, well, I'm not a doctor, but the way it works for me, if you need more support in the middle of your foot, this would be a good shoe to try. Because I find that's kind of what it is. Instead of having the weight kind of here and here, it's more in the middle. So, I, I don't, like, rock when I walk. I just, like, boom, 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 boom. So, I walk in the middle here. So they're, they're an, an interesting sneaker anyways, but they're not going to burn any extra calories or anything like that. But I like them anyways. Again, a good comfy shoe. Because they're the shape-ups, they do feel different when you're walking, but I haven't had any problems with them with, like, you know, any parts of me hurting. So I just wish the sole to the other shoe look, you know, went to these sneakers, because these are, like, really freaking cool. <laughs> so, but they're just the shape-ups. But that's it for those. Now these are an interesting sneaker to me. And I bypassed a pair of just plain black ones because I got that coffin purse. Which I mentioned in, I don't know if I put that particular haul up yet or not. But it's coming. And these are very interesting because they look like that. And you can kind of feel it. I mean, they feel differently because you don't have that similar, um, well, because you don't have that support like you would normally where it's just flat. So it's kind of like the shape-ups I just showed you, but with like a bar instead of just the entire sole. So it's, it's a very interesting sneaker to wear. They are comfortable. Again, they're leather and man-made materials from Senja. And again, they got came from the Goodwill a very long time ago. Pretty decent tread. Um, I wear these off and on. 
And again, there's something you kind of have to get used to because you do feel feel it in the middle here. So it's almost like if you're walking and somebody's holding you like this on the bottom of your foot. So, uh, just a good shoe to wear around. And I like the red and black. They're just a really pretty shoe. Or sneaker. <laughs> um, I have been walking in them. Haven't had too much discomfort after the fact. But they're just not like one of the go-to sneakers if I need a walking sneaker. They're just sort of a... They're just neat. I feel like wearing them type of sneaker. Give you a better look at the bottom there since they're not too bad. So that's like where the support is. Now these last two sneakers are sort of specialty sneakers, though I had no idea what the specialty was. And the first pair are these. Now I had never heard of these before in my life, but they were really kind of cute. And this type of pink I can handle, okay? This this isn't, you know, what I would instantly find attractive, but they're cute, but, you know, they're still not black. <laughs> but I picked them up, and I'm like, you yeah, know, those are kind of cute. You know, those might be a good walking shoe. Then I saw this. And there's, like, a leather sole to the shoe here, and it goes slide right. And there was, like, nothing online to tell me what the hell these are for. And then I found that these are indeed bowling shoes. So, if I ever go bowling, I got them. But these are my indoor sneakers. I do not walk outside in them. I was doing my, you know, if I do exercises inside, you still kind of need a sneaker. But I have my little bicycle. So these are good for when you're bicycling too. So these are like an indoor exercise sneaker for me. So... <laughs> So I never even bought the took off the thing. Three dollars, goodwill. So these are my indoor exercise sneakers. So if I do go bowling, they'll not be ruined. <laughs> and the last pair of sneakers that I can think of are these. Now we're still kind of debating what the hell these actually are. Now mother seems to think they are cleats or like a soccer sneaker. But I'm not sure because they're not a metal like a cleat would be, but they do kind of grip. And I we went walking with these. These are okay-ish on pavement. They don't they don't hurt your feet or any. But <laughs> you sound like a horse walking because like clank 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 clank. But these are great for like woods walking because you do have the extra grip. And these are from Mizuno. And I haven't found any place that tells me what they are. You, where you can buy them, but not what the hell you do with them. It goes, Mizzou, no franchise. So, are these a cleat of some sort? A soccer sneaker? They don't tell me diddly. Uh, made in Vietnam, US 7. I'm not even sure what material these are. Nine spike. I just now noticed that. So, I don't know, but these are good for like woods walking because you do have the extra grip where it kind of claws onto things. I'm not so sure about mountain climbing where it would be okay on, uh, on rocks, but you do have kind of, um, not really a tread, what's that like good grip on the, on the treads part there? So, these have had use. So anytime I go walking in the woods or anything like that, these are good you to have. So that is it for my sneaker show and tell. And you've probably guessed that I am a shoe whore, but then I am a female. <laughs> so, so tell me, there isn't a boot I have hardly not liked. <laughs> so, so this is just the you know main common part of my collection. The rest is up on the top shelf of my closet, which are older sneakers, older boots that are like browns and stuff that just isn't really me or didn't quite were comfortable or anything like that so thank you for watching as my battery is just on the way out comment rate subscribe and i shall see you all in my next vid